know if that's any better, but there's no lights on top. It's so weird. They're only like, you can only have lights that are lamps. You're going to have to uh, travel with your little ring light. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. Good morning. I am in California right now, about to go to Disneyland after this. So shows out to get dedicated I am to fine folks, but I'm still here as I'm going to Disneyland in about an hour here. Shane, thanks for being here. This is one of my favorite ones. Obviously, as we know, it's a live Q&A. So people just get to try to ask me anything, um, any questions that they have. So it's pretty good. So good morning from everybody. I know that a lot of people are here. Uh, I'm just going to ask, is this anybody's first time that you've been here before? If it's your first time, let me know. See some names that are coming up quite frequently. Gary's here quite a bit. Alpi's here quite a bit. We're going to start here in about uh, in about five minutes. Shane, you haven't been on in a while. Why don't you tell people who you are? Because you haven't been on in uh, probably quite a while. Well, since our last, probably last, cute. no, I was on with uh, Walter um, a couple weeks ago. Were you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's you somebody's first time. Here, so. <laughs> well, anyways, well, my name is Shane. Uh, I've been working with Brad for, I think it's been almost seven years now. Uh, my, uh, my, my background is... Uh, uh, business management, marketing. Uh, I've done a lot of the marketing for Brad and Brad's team and uh, a lot of the stuff on the new construction side of things. Uh, I've also built a couple coaching programs, a um, couple large Facebook groups, uh, pretty committed to the uh, whole real estate industry. Um, my wife's also a licensed agent and uh, I work a lot with the uh, W Income coaching team uh, and uh, all of our coaches and agents that are uh, part of this team. So we take care of a lot of the marketing, uh, take care of a lot of systems, automations, things like that. So uh, that's what uh, I do and i um, happy to be here. So I like this call. This is a fun call. I have all our questions here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. For those of you that don't know, I choose to do it this way whenever you have questions is um, I actually don't know the questions ever. So for those of you that are like, oh, it's scripted or whatever, I don't know. I have no idea what the hell the questions are going to be. So for those of you that's your first time here, uh, it is a Q&A. We love them. So ask any questions you guys have in here. We'll get to them. We have other questions. Uh, my name is Brad Mandel. I used to run the top team or the number one team, the number one REMAX office in the world. Now we have a large, we're trying to grow the largest coaching program in the world for free for real estate agents. Um, so if you have any questions, just uh, feel free to fire away. Um, hold on. I actually, a lot of people, so a lot of people ask if there's a replay, there's a replay sent out. However, I, anybody that wants to follow me on YouTube should do so. There you go. So for the people that it's, that you're new, make sure to follow me on YouTube because I have a bunch of, uh, are you a realtor oh looking to up your production? Looking to sell more homes? Jesus. <sighs> I went there. That's that guy's voice is terrifying <laughs> and it's mine. Okay. There we go. So if those of you, I just put the link in there. Uh, so follow me on YouTube because I have tons of different uh, topics that we have. There's, I, I have over a hundred and something videos in there now and there's more and more coming down the pipeline. So make sure you follow me on YouTube. Uh, Shane, it looks like where I like to start right at five after I got a minute left. So I'm just going to post this. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Alpi says, I feel like I'm the broke version of Brad. Can't wait to be <laughs> successful. <laughs> wow. Nobody wants to be a version of me, broke or rich. So I feel bad for you, Alpi, because uh, nobody should bestow that upon themselves. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right, Shane. I think that's, uh, I think we're good. 805. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Good stuff. Yeah. So I, I think um, I, I was thinking about this. Uh, so we got a bunch of questions uh, over the past couple of days. Some from our team, um, just some some other one, r random ones from social media. Uh, like Brad said, uh, you know, it, it, this is a Q and A. So if you do have any specific questions, uh, just drop them here in the comments, and I'll keep track of them, and we'll uh, we'll make sure to get to those uh, um, within the next uh, 20, 25 minutes or so. Um, just drop a comment uh, to let us know where you're from here. Uh, we got a bunch of people uh, from all over the place, and uh, it's always nice to see uh, where you're all uh, tuning in from. Um, I'm going to do this, uh, Brad, a little bit differently. So what I did is I took a lot of the uh, questions. We've done three or four of these Q&As. I went through uh, all of our questions from the previous Q&As, and, and they're all very uh, uh, pretty repetitive. Like everybody wants to know the same sort of things over and over again. And uh, so what I did is I took uh, uh, questions, like the new questions that we got, which were pretty much the same thing. Um, and then I kind of 
uh, formatted or formulated uh, sort of a list of topics more or less than, than, you know, actual questions themselves. So we can go through those, but if anybody's got any specific questions, go ahead and drop them down in the comments here. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's jump into this, Brad. Um, I like this call. <laughs> it's, it's, all right. Well, listen, why don't you give, um, really quickly, Brad, why don't you give everybody, um, uh, a brief intro about your, um, sort of, uh, journey here into real estate, um, you know, where you were at, uh, or how you got started, where you were at, what you did last year, what you're doing this year. And uh, then we'll jump into uh, a couple of these. And I've actually separated these in, like, in terms of like, you know, things for new agents and things for a little bit more advanced agents. Sure. So I was a real estate or sorry, I was a bartender for a long time, decided to come into real estate. Uh, I came in 2009. It was like the worst year ever. I uh, still was in the top 200 agents out of 5,500 the first year. And I started April 1st. So I'm like, I think I'm pretty good at this. Started a team, fucking sucked as a leader. Didn't know what to do. I just, one of those guys like, I'm going to start a team that didn't know what he was doing. But uh, luckily... I got to uh, learn a bunch of stuff. Uh, and then we slowly started climbing up. Um, you know, I went to, uh, I was at Remax for a long time, recently been at EXP in 2020, 2020. We did about 280 something deals. And then last year we had our best year ever. We did 1,250 deals. So for those of you that are on here, uh, why you're looking at some asshole that needs to shave in a hat is because I've done 1,250 deals last year. So I've learned a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes. I uh, now I'm just trying to help other agents grow their business. And so far it's been fantastic. It's been really, re really rewarding. So it's good. And even with all that experience, we still made mistakes last year. <laughs> oh my crazy. God. I think we made them more than we ever have last year. <laughs> oh my God. It was last year was a big learning curve. Whenever you quadruple <laughs> your production and start a coaching program all in a year. Uh, yeah. There's definitely some challenges. Yeah. Yeah. Every, every, there's always something new that pops up, right? I mean, it's not, uh, it's not, oh, it's not, as you, as you continue down that journey and as you keep leveling up and leveling up, there's always uh, new things that you keep learning and keep failing. And, you know, that uh, uh, gives you those, uh, those lessons that you need in order to, uh, to become even more successful. Fail forward. Absolutely. All right. Well, um, again, guys, uh, if you got questions, this is the time to drop them. I'm going to start taking notes as Brad is, uh, is talking through some of this stuff. So, Let's go ahead. Like I said, I broke these down. Um, I took some of our, our, our um, the, the more repetitive questions. I broke them down a little bit. Um, first one, and this is a uh, uh, next couple of questions are tailored for uh, the newer agents. Um, so first question, if I was a brand new agent and I joined your team or you were coaching me, what are the top three things you would have me do today so that I could so that I could become more successful or at the very least close one to two or three deals every single month. Find a different job. <laughs> <laughs> the number one thing, if you're a new agent, find a new job. God, this industry sucks. Um, I honestly, the top three things, I think I kind of think of like the top three things I would do is when I think about moving, uh, what I would do if I were to move, right? Because you're essentially starting your own business. So that's kind of how I speak, if that's okay. Thinking about it, it's like, hey, here I am in Anaheim right now in California. I'm now a real estate agent. I'm living out of my hotel room and I got to go make business. Um, I think the very, very, very first thing I do that's very simple, and I know we've talked about it a lot on people that are here, is probably, um, I'd probably find a bunch of rentals. Like, I know that for people that are on here that have seen this before, uh, you know, it's a little bit repetitive, but I would totally find landlords that had places for rent. Uh, that'd be the biggest thing ever and call them and ask them if they want to sell. Uh, the reason why I would do that is because whenever you're talking to a landlord, you ask them if they want to sell the house, you ask them if they have another house they want to sell, and then you ask them if they want to buy a different rental property. So it's three opportunities. Uh, that'd be the first thing I would do. Um, the second thing that I would do uh, would be to post on Facebook Marketplace. So I know it's very popular. I'm going to assume that, that I'm going to assume that if I'm a newer agent that I have a that I have a, a smaller budget. So I'd post on Facebook Marketplace, basically, um, you know, tell me how much you're paying in rent, and I'll give you send you a list of houses you can afford at the same price. So that's number two. Um, number three, probably. Well, I'm going to assume now that I'm not living in a new area, and for this one is. A lot of people don't know how to properly walk their sphere or scared to call people. So I have new agents that I'm training right now that are like, I don't want to call my sphere and tell them I'm a real estate agent because I'm new. Okay, well, what if they know somebody wants to buy a house? 
And this is what I tell some people because new agents have this fear of uh, being new and have a fear of basically that they don't have enough support or whatever. Well, if you have a team or, or if you're, you know, if you have a mentor or whatever, I think that a lot of new agents make big mistakes where my biggest mistake in real estate, whenever I did, whenever I started, is I didn't tell everybody I was a real estate agent because I went from a bartender to a realtor. So it's like, uh, you were bartending last week and now you're a real estate agent. It's something that it, mentally I had to overcome, which was all, which was all in my head. So it, it kind of sucked about that. So I think that, you know, if I was a brand new agent, I would uh, do those three things, call landlords. Um, what was the second? I said post on Facebook marketplace. And then also make sure you get your sphere down. Like any, so basically for your spheres, you look through your phone, look through Facebook, anything that you have in here, literally anything that you, anybody, sorry, anybody that knows who you are and they're in a location, you'd sell them a house, make a spreadsheet and start calling them quarterly and then send them updates uh, for anything they're looking for. That's huge. Uh, Gus, one of our coaches sold 30 houses one year, just from a 200 person database. So those are the first three things that I would do because they don't cost anything and they take time where I'm not like, Oh, go do bus bench ads and go do all this shit and blow your money. The three things that I'd suggest are all free to do. They just take your time. Let's talk a little bit about, um, so you've got, uh, you have three or four agents right now on your team that are, are pretty new specifically. More. Um, we like 10 now. We just had two more join, three more join this week. Well, I'm talking to ones that are, have been very successful. Newer agents that, oh, are okay. team that have been very successful. Specifically, right. let's talk a little bit about um, Joel and Hassan. Okay. Uh, these have been, they're, you know, they've, they've, uh, they've done really, really well. Joel specific, well, Hassan as well, right? Um, I, I mean, let's talk, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, what they've seen in terms of success. They've only been licensed for about six, eight months, maybe or so. Um, and I think Joel, uh, Mark mentioned, uh, not long ago that, um, what, what he had 40 deals this year so far, Joel, Joel, is it? No. And they're, they're in their sixties, 60, <laughs> so 60 transactions. Yeah. And not even licensed a year. And in so a what, brand new city, Joel was in a brand new city. His son is fairly new to Calgary too. So what, what is it that they're doing different that's allowing them to see all this success? Um, listening to what I have to say, where most people in this call don't do anything. Like, if you want me to be serious, like most people, when I suggest to do something on these calls, they don't do it. It's frustrating, but it's not my life. I'm only here to teach, right? I think that the, the most successful people that we have in our organization with double income coaching or on the team in Calgary is they take, um, they take our advice and they do it. Yeah. Like Mark said, Joel, like we were the only people that Joel knew in Calgary. Like he knew nobody in Calgary except Mark and myself and then slowly got to know the team. And now he's really good friends with his son. <clears throat> but I, it literally, it's just the fact of doing the activities. I know it sounds so simple, but most people here have a bullshit schedule. They don't know what they're doing. Um, they say that they're busy, but really they're just trolling on TikTok. Like I challenge everybody here for next week's call, literally document what you do throughout the day. Every day, document what you do throughout the day. Seriously, think about it. So all these agents like, oh my God, I'm so busy. And that, that's like, shut up. You're not busy. Unless you're selling like a hundred houses a year, you're really not super, super busy. You can do more. Now that's my opinion. It's my show. I get to say whatever I want. So it's like, cause I did a hundred and I'm being as genuine as possible is I did a hundred resale last year, sold 1250, started all the stuff up and I still had time to really do whatever I want. So it just shows my schedule. I'm pretty disciplined. Yeah, he like, got both. married twice last year. <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty much. Don't tell her about the other wife. But anyways, <laughs> she, she's in the background. She's like, really? I'm like, yeah, brunette, you're blonde. Um, so I think it's one of those things where they don't do their schedule. And that's the biggest thing, Shane, talking about schedules is having, having the same activity. Here's what a lot of real estate agents make the mistake doing is that they sit there and they do something once in a while. It's like me. It's like, oh, I'm not going to drink for a week and I'm going to work out once. How come I haven't lost 40 pounds? It's like, well, because you're still fat and you're going to go be a shithead for the next week. So it's like building a muscle whenever you're doing these things is at first it won't be routine. Like the, you know, the different stuff that we teach, it's not routine. You're not used to doing it. So if you do have to do it once every two days, do it once every two days, then add it on every day or whatever it is, then you have to make it and build a muscle. So if you're calling or doing Facebook leads or anything, make sure you're doing it consistently. It's like anything. 
the, the people that see the most consistent results are the people that are sorry. If you go to the gym and you're trying to see results, the people that are that are going to get the most results are doing it every day or five times a week or whatever. This is no different. If you're not cold calling five times a week or door knocking or doing lead gen or whatever you're trying to do five days a week, you're not going to become super successful at it. But a lot of agents just have all this bullshit fluff that they think that they're busy and, and truthfully you're not. Like when an agent says they're busy and then I hear how many deals they do, it physically makes me want to vomit more than I did last call. I was so hungover. That's how much it makes me want to puke is because they don't do anything. It's like, oh my God, I did 15 deals last year and I'm so busy. I'm like, last week? Because then last week, sure, that's busy. So it's tough, man. So, so that's a big part of it is making sure that you're flexing that muscle every single day. It's just like a muscle. I still hate, you think that I like picking up this phone all the time? Mark sees me do it. He's in my office. You think I like cold calling? No, but I still have to do it. What's made me more successful than other people is I'll do shit when nobody else wants to. When I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to call today. I still get on and do it. And that's the big difference for me. Yeah, I think I've, I've, I mean, there's, there's been many times where I've spoken to you on a, on a Saturday or Sunday and, and, you know, I, I've exported those lists of, <laughs> of leads that you're calling on Sundays, you know, like you're, you're literally sitting down on a Sunday while everybody else is out there and, you know, doing whatever they do. And you're starting at eight o'clock in the morning, you're going through those lists. I, well, it's a big part of it. And then Carly, like, you know, it's funny, Carly just put here. Uh, nothing will show you how much time you waste in writing down everything you do. It's so true. Like, seriously, it's so, so true. <laughs> like, it's, it's you know, Carly said it right there. I, I I think this might be one of the first times I've seen Carly comment. I, obviously, there's thousands of you. I can't remember them all. But I like, think about that. It's so true. Like, write down your day. I challenge everybody on this call. There's hundreds of you. I challenge you to write down for next week. Give me feedback. We'll start off the call next week. Remind me, Sheen, if I forget. But let's talk about what your next week looks like. I guarantee you, you'll. I, most of you, truthfully, and I hate to say this, you'll be embarrassed. You actually will be embarrassed to call yourself a real estate agent uh, if you write your what you do down for a week. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. I coach for a living, and the, the, the matter of fact is, is that a lot of people get back to me like, holy shit, that's what I did during the week. So anyways, it's a great test for everybody. Uh, there's, I'm gonna a, a sorry, there's a really good video if anybody can find it um of brad and his uh where he's going through his schedule oh remember my that video? <laughs> i do remember that video so yeah oh that was it, so you're basically sitting there it's like you know you know 7 30 a.m meeting uh, 7 45 text my message calls. like it was, non -stop. It was my call. yeah it was my call so i had a i had one i'll tell you this very quickly i did a video on facebook it was probably the most stressed I've ever been. I don't put a lot of, for those of you who follow me on Facebook, I don't put a lot about business on there. Uh, like how am I doing on business? But I literally grabbed my phone or my wife grabbed my phone and or her phone and I started talking. And it was like 738. These are all the calls I had. 738, 740, 745, 747, 749, 8, 802. 80, I just did that for a minute and a half. And then I did my texts. While your I, phone's ringing. <laughs> while my phone's ringing. And then I didn't even touch my email. So yeah, it's uh, it's pretty crazy when you get busy. Um, let me see. Uh, I'm going to go back. There's a bunch of questions here now. Sure. Uh, doing the activity. Uh, Mark answered that one. Uh, Trella, so where should we start exactly to get into a good routine? Something concrete that you recommend? So to get into a good routine, the number one thing I do is on Sunday evenings, um decide what you want to do for the week put in your personal stuff first so if it's working out or whatever you want to do uh playing hockey or basketball whatever it is that you do for yourself second thing is put in your family stuff uh your family obligations that you can't move and then start the third thing is on sunday evening start filling out what you want to do for work that's the biggest thing so put in there what you want to do for work and what that looks like but keep in mind keep it consistent so on Sunday, if you were like, hey, I'm going to start, I'm just making these three things up. There's four things, cold calling, whatever it is, you put them in your calendar. Make sure you don't miss them. And how you stay successful is if you do have to miss it, I get something comes up. But if you have to miss a task, like let's say you're supposed to cold call at 1 p.m. on Monday. And then it's like this client's like, I have to look at this house right now. And offers are being taken in by four. I'm just making this up. Then what you do is you take that task and you assign it throughout a different time that day or a different time that week, because now you're that hour behind of cold calling. 
See, the roller coaster that people go on is as they get busy, quote unquote busy, as they get busy, they go up this roller coaster and down, they stop doing their income producing activities and they start again and they stop. That's normally what causes your real estate roller coaster. Uh, so just make sure you keep consistently doing your tasks. Because a lot of people think that, again, I go back, a lot of people think they're busy. <clears throat> if you do 40, like a deal a week, 52 deals, think about that. That sounds like a lot. It's one deal a week. That is a lot. Like there's not many people that do. It's still not a lot of work. Like if you actually think about this, if you're doing one deal a week, let's say half of them are listings and half of them are buyers. Most people doing that aren't putting in like 90 hours a week. It's, it's almost impossible unless you're not efficient. So Sundays is the answer to get ready. Uh, Jazz, Rathorn, do you still feel door knocking is effective with all the digital options also because of COVID? I hate door knocking. I've always hated it. I've done it before. Is it effective? Possibly. But here's what I like about digital marketing now. So there's people that use our uh, free leads from Facebook Marketplace training. You get like, there's some people getting 60, 70 or 80 leads a week. So let's think about this. You can go door knock and you're going to go door knock 100 houses. You might get one person that says yes, maybe. So you go in there and you take up all that time to go and door knock. It take you a tenth of the time to put up an ad and get 100 leads that are all free through Facebook Marketplace. I'm just using an example. So you come in, you get that all for free. And you can just sit on your phone and you're not going out there door knocking. So I think it's a complete waste of time unless... You're doing it with purpose, like knocking, like I actually have a buyer for your home. Uh, I wouldn't do it. That's just me personally. Um, we are going on two years of cold calling ban here in New York. What are some things you can do beyond Facebook and calling your sphere that you can do? We're not allowed to ask business in any manner, door knocking calls. That's lame. Uh, sending flyers unless we've actually had an interaction with the person before. Suggestions. Wow. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's a big one. If YouTube's you want to start... such a it's such a huge missed opportunity right now for real estate agents. It's unbelievable. Like we just um, uh, so I, like I mentioned, uh, my wife's a licensed agent. We just went all in on on YouTube. We stopped all our lead generation, everything in the past. She just started in January. She gets a, so she just started in January. She's getting leads now. She's getting at least two leads per day. So people reaching out to her from YouTube. It's it's like it's unbelievable yeah you have to spend a little bit of time and you just there's commitment there to building up your youtube channel but but this is all it's all free now and your your videos live on and the seo that it creates for your sites like it's just there's it's the 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 benefits um are huge and um and it's free and there's no competition yeah, I think that for YouTube like we have some people one of our YouTube coaches they made 1.1 million dollars um, last year just from YouTube alone, which is insane. Uh, and then this year, I think they've already made like $500,000 or something. So, so and yeah, they're brand new is, agents. <laughs> yeah, they're, they were brand new agents last year. YouTube's huge. Uh, we will, we'll have a training, uh, at the end of this month or next month, beginning of next month, right? Shane for YouTube. Yeah, it'll be soon. We just, we got to tee that up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's huge. There's a really long private message here, Shane. If you want to talk a little bit more <clears throat> just about Rochelle did for YouTube, so you can give, uh, I'll read it. So you can give an example maybe of just how Rochelle does it. Maybe just a quick two minute for those people that want to come in and start YouTube. Yeah, I mean, the strategy is really simple. Um, essentially, what we're doing is we're, uh, there's a little, there's quite a bit of research that goes into it. Uh, but basically, what you're doing is you're creating um, neighborhood videos. So, um, so we'll, so you're creating neighborhood videos and then you're creating pros and con videos for those types of neighborhoods. Uh, and then what ends up happening is that people that are looking to move in those specific neighborhoods are, are searching, you know, Google, your videos are coming up and, um, uh, but, but the YouTube side of things like, uh, I mean, there's a couple things. First of all, uh, there are a lot of tools out there that allow you to search what are people looking for, right? So you can actually create content that people are actually looking for and then um then you create that content you post that content and then um as people are you know obviously searching for it, your youtube videos start popping up right um there's a like there's a lot that we've learned over the past couple of months of course you know brad mentioned that we have a coaching program uh for youtube 
uh, where Levi and Travis go through, you know, exactly what type of videos to, to do, how to do the research, uh, the SEO side of things, which are really important. But like the, the, like the, the two things that I like the most about what my wife likes the most about it is that first of all, um, we're not spending any more money on marketing. So we used to spend, I think we, our budgets were somewhere between 12 to $1,500 a month. Um, on Facebook ads. So we'd be generating tons of leads, building up that database. And she spent hours, like every single day, calling these leads. And it's just over time, it starts to become overwhelming. Conversion rates are really, really low. And uh, and they take months and months to convert. So, so, you know, one thing is we don't have to spend money on marketing anymore. The second thing is that she's not spending, instead of wasting time calling all these leads, she's spending her time creating content. And, and, and then eventually what ends up happening is that these people are reaching out to you and the best types of leads are the types, the types of leads that are reaching out to you as opposed to you trying to sell them something. Um, and we're getting the, like the other thing, Brad, that's worked out really well is because now we have teams in different cities, the referrals that we're passing along. So we have, you know, we have Dallas, um, we have living in Dallas with Travis and Levi. Um, we've got Toronto now we've got, um, um, I think we have somebody in in Calgary that's looking to build something. I was just talking to somebody else that's looking to build something in Orlando. Um, and so with the YouTube stuff, now we can pass along the referrals. And uh, and Levi and Travis actually just sent us a referral for uh, uh, for Toronto, uh, where the person has six listings. <laughs> like it's just it's absolutely crazy. So the referral network's really great, um, and then the leads are just unbelievable for YouTube. What's our YouTube page? Living in Toronto. You want to type that in there, Shane? Uh, yeah, let me let me find it here. I'll just. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go down and answer some more questions. How do we how do we go about contacting landlords? As you suggested just find websites that people have uh, places for rent. That's the easiest thing. So the, not that's obviously for rent by a real estate agent. Uh, it's people that have something for rent that's just on like uh, you know Kijiji or Craigslist, or whatever you have in your local area to go find rentals. Uh, that's the place that you go to call them. Um, <clears throat> how do we go about YouTube channel? You're going to put that in there. Yeah. Okay. Is it worth it to buy leads? Oh, it's a loaded question. I built my business 13 years ago, 12 years ago, buying internet leads. Now I don't do it anymore. I'll be completely honest with you, Dira. I don't even do it. I don't do it for my team. I have a team of like 40 agents. Um, we don't buy leads unless they're specifically for a project that we're doing right now. I just don't do it because I've just found it's just such a waste of time. It's such a waste of time. So I honestly don't do it anymore. So uh, I just think there's so many better ways that you can still contact people that want to buy or sell and you don't have to spend a bunch of money. Uh, do you know how to find people's cell number in Canada? John, I don't think it's possible because of our privacy laws. Uh, I sold a listing in my farm and now I have an off market that will be sold. Any suggestions to keep farming the area? Yeah, I just, I would literally every time, if you're farming an area, every time you buy or sell or represent, just spend a few hundred bucks and keep flyering the area. Another one sold, another one sold, off market deal then you can send another one and people won't even notice if you send the same home from like a little while ago, put like sold for $25,000 above asking price. So every time you have a seller that you sell a home, even when you represent the buyer, uh, you definitely want to start flyering that area. And then if you want to start doing it, there's a lot of different companies uh, or yourself, it's less expensive. Do a market update on a postcard every month. If you're starting to want to flyer an area, that's huge. If you're flyering an area and you're wanting to become like, yeah, letters work for sure. So if you're doing letters and if you're flying an area, <clears throat> that's a time that I would door knock. That is the time that I would door knock. If you sell a home and you're going around, that's the only time I would door knock is if you sold something and you're trying to get into a farm for an area so people start to know who you are. What do you recommend doing on geo farming if you don't have any money to start with? Um, I'm gonna answer Angela's first. Two to, two to four flyers a month is probably excessive. If you wanna do that, go ahead. I would normally do anytime you buy something, uh, anytime you sold something. The cool thing is a lot of people won't notice if you change the pictures and don't put the address. You can, um, Angela, what I would do is I'd say like a possession date one. Like that's what a lot of people don't do when they geofarm. 
is they don't do like a possession date. It's like possession date is, you know, like, hey, and like represented this happy couple on possession date. So I would send a letter out for possession date as well, too. Uh, so buying, sold, and then possession date. Uh, no one else saying anything. What do you recommend doing in geo farming? Honestly, Antonio, geo farming is the hardest thing to do if you don't have money. It's almost impossible. Like you have to have a shit ton of money to geo farm. Because what a lot of people do when they try to geo farm is they do it once or twice, spend the money, and they're like, fuck, there's no results, and they stop. Geo farming is a big long burn. Like if you're not willing to basically light money on fire for over a year, it's not worth it. Uh, Angela asks, what's possession day? Sorry, in Canada, we call it possession day. Basically, it's the day they move in. So Angela, I would take a picture of you with your clients the day that they're moving into your farmed area and say like another happy buyer sold or another happy seller sold. So it looks like you're just keep doing more and more, but really you might be recycling the same material. It just has the perception that you're doing more deals. So, you know, whenever you firm up the property, uh, it, you know, whenever you represent the buyer seller. So from one home, you should be able to put out three different postcards if you wanted to and then change maybe the house or put an interior home and don't necessarily put the address every single time. Um, but yeah, nobody, I've never seen anybody geo farm and put a picture and send a picture out on the day they move in. Another happy buyer uh, represented. You're welcome, Lisa. I literally just thought of that right now. So for those of you who think like, oh my God, I literally just thought of that, Angela, right now. I'm like, what the fuck else could we do? I'm like, oh, let's put a picture of a real estate agent with a sold sign with their clients. I've never, ever once even heard of anybody doing that. I'm not saying that people haven't, but I think that's a pretty good idea. So it shows your face, happy clients, a sold product, and you keep doing that over and over again. So thank you, Lisa. That's probably a good one. I am fan freaking tastic. That's true. Okay. How do you contact expired listings? John, I'll be completely honest with you. Um, we can't do it and can't, I can't do it where I'm at. So I don't know the answer to that. Just being honest. I don't know how to contact expireds because we're not allowed to do it in, in Calgary. Uh, and so humble. Yes. Humble is one of my greatest qualities as well, too. Uh, let me see. Uh, how to contact expired, Brad, I love this idea. Perfect thoughts. And so thoughts on testimonial video with seller video, QR codes, Angela, that's fantastic. I love it. Uh, I'm not a very big tech person, but if you can figure out how to do a scan a QR code or what you could do with that one is you could do like, if you're showing the happy couple, this is a great idea. You just gave me another good idea. With the testimonial video, you should have a testimonial of that couple that's in your, in your picture for your geo farming. So you have a QR code that says, listen to their testimonial, and then they can scan the QR code and it's the same couple that you just did on the postcard. That's a good idea. Uh, you can door knock a few times. Yeah. What's the best way to contact developers? Best way to contact developers for pre-con, for those of you that know that we do a ton of pre-con, uh, is seriously just get on the phone. Like that's all I can tell you to do is I just literally, literally get on the phone. That's it. I get on the phone and just start calling people. I, I talk to the salesperson. Then I try to talk to the owner. It's hard. Like maybe Mark, you, Mark's our pre-con guru. So Mark, if you want to maybe write down a little paragraph on pre-construction, want to do so. Um, that's a big thing. We got Walt, my man, Walt's in here. Nice. Walt made time today. Love it. Uh, how do I do hundred deals per year? It's tough, but you do. Uh, do you have a full-time assistant? I do a full-time assistant, uh, Sergey. So the truth is I actually have three now because our team is so big. Uh, I think we're almost at 40 agents on the team now, Shane. I don't know if you knew that, but it's getting outrageous. Um, it's probably cause I bought a bunch of video games for the office, but anyways, um, <laughs> do you see those? No, I haven't seen those. Yet. Oh yeah, I, I, I posted on them on uh, Instagram. Anyways, oh, I'll really? tell you guys, they're pretty okay. dope. Yeah, I might have to move to Calgary. Yeah, exactly. Um, if you want to contact expired listings in the United States, use a dialer service like Red X or Vulcan Seven or Mojo. Don't waste your time on brand new expired. So reach back from anywhere from six to twenty-four months. Awesome, that's good advice, Walt. That is something that I don't know how to do. I'm actually in the road right now, North Carolina and Virginia, but I couldn't resist answering that question. <laughs> Thanks, we buddy. About, we have two really good coaching um, trainings on for sale by owners and expireds. Um, our, a couple of our partners built their entire career on 
um, on for sale by owners and calling expireds. And I, like, I've gone through the, the training on that and uh, it is so good and so well detailed. If you just did that alone, you probably could do 250 to $350,000 in commissions every single year without, with, without any issues. If you just followed those two codes, you know, one of the big problems and you see this all the time is, you know, Agents bounce around from one strategy to the next. You try something for a week, you bounce to the next thing. Then you see something on social media. Oh my God, I generated a hundred leads from Facebook and I closed three deals. You know, it's like, eh, well, no, not really. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. <laughs> um, you know, but but that's what ends up happening. And 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 all these strategies are hard. They they're all hard. Door knocking's hard, cold calling expires for sale, but all this stuff's hard. It's just if you can system with it, they work. And I know the expired and for sale by owner strategies that we have are are really, really good. And they're, they're like, and so anybody that's part of the double income coaching that's on this call, if you're looking for a way to make money by selling real estate, go do that training from uh, from Jane Michael. It's really good. I've been through, um, I think both, are, there's three of them, I think. Yeah, they're good. There's a lot in that, in that you know, Walt's good too. Uh, Lori asked, any input on what to focus on? I have my sphere of influence, VIPs, and I have a farm. I feel like I'm half-assing them both. Any options on what to put my whole ass? Uh, Lori, I think that, you know, there's a lot of people here, and I'm going to ask this. And I'm going to – I don't. who's on next week, Shane? Do you know? I don't know. I've got a couple of invitations out. <laughs> okay. So. So I mean, so next week I want to start talking about it. And, and Shane, maybe we don't need anybody. Is I'll, Maybe we'll call it a business planning strategy session. Because a lot of people come to me and ask this question. So maybe we can do that next week is for those of you that are on this call and want to come next week, I think what I'm going to do is basically how to plan, how to plan and how to hit goals. So I want you, everybody on here to think of how many deals they want to do and how you're going to do it. Because I, that's kind of how I start off my coaching. So Shane, maybe I can do that next week is basically come with how many deals you want to do and how many you're doing now. And then we'll talk about how to get there. Now, the challenge that I have with, with that, with that question, Lori, and it's it's a great question. I get asked it all the time is what I'm, what am I supposed to do with my time in order to be successful? So maybe I'll go over that uh, next week on exactly what to do and, and, and how to people to input it. So maybe I can do that, Shane. I don't know. I'm just thinking outside the box right now, but I guess, Lori, it depends. What do you like to do? Like our coaching program has 15 to 20 different things you can do to make money. I always tell people just to pick four. Uh, depending on the volume that they want to do, it's like pick four or five and just do those five and stick to it. So, Lori, maybe um, um, at the end, I'll, I'll, at the end, I'll probably post my phone number if a couple of people want to text me to hop on a call. I'll, I'll be doing that at the end. Sometimes it's a fucking dumpster fire of people texting me, but I'll do it. I'm I'm in the mood, but I won't get back to you for days because I'm at Disney with my wife and she'll kill me. Actually, she doesn't care. I work literally. I work so much, Shane, from Disney that I have my phone here. I have a charger on the back, and then we bring a battery pack and another one. So I need four batteries when I'm at Disneyland because that's how much I work when I'm in line. I don't even talk to her. She's in the You're shower. You're the guy on the roller coaster, right? <laughs> she's literally in the shower right now, so she can't hear me. But she's like, every time we go to Disney, and she's not mad. She doesn't care because she's been with me for six years. But she's like, I'm like well, I'm standing in line for an hour and a half. Like, I'm going to get some shit done. Like, who in the fuck pays for it to come to Disney? Does squirrels pay for it? No. So I got to pay for it somehow. So anyways, that's that's uh, that's that one. Uh, should written permission? Yes. Ram and I'd have written permission to put client on photo and postcard. Absolutely. That's a fantastic idea so you don't get in trouble. Uh, do you use site to do business when trying to figure out what development developers to contact? We're a smaller market to get big names like Trader Joe's is hard, but we want them here. Uh, Carly, I'd literally for, for developers or for, for builders, I literally drive new communities and find out who they are. Cause I don't know every single, every single person that's there. So I drive the new communities to make sure that I can figure out who they are. And then I just start getting on the phone with them. Uh, Brad and I like to do the highest number of deals at the highest commission value in the shortest time possible. That is very true. Out of province or out of state investors are absolute best for that. Facebook marketing, targeting investors, the fastest way. That's true. So how we grew our sales from like 280 deals to 1,250 last year was from out of town investors. That's the biggest thing we did. We started doing Zooms. Big, big credit to my homie Shane, who was like, and I'm like, he's like, well, you do these first time homebuyer seminars via Zoom. You should do them for, uh, you should do them for investors. I'm like, when the fuck's going to buy a condo from me by doing it? And the answer is lots. So Shane, mad props to you as you're the brainchild behind this operation anyways. 
How do you effectively convert leads? I keep getting messages from follow-up to stop texting, no response. Uh, yeah, normally they're just going to be bad leads. Like I've tried 16 different lead gen companies and none of them work. Like, it's true. It's like if you're looking for a 1% conversion to 2% and you just want to be on the phone for hours a day and you're okay with that, leads are okay. If you want to build relationships, there's so many different things you can do. Shane, how many times have you heard real estate agents? I want leads. I want leads. I want leads. I'll give you a prime example, actually. Let's use my team. And I hope some of my team members are on here because I want to punch most of you in the face. Um, and I tell you that live and I tell you that to, to your face. So I spent $30,000 at the end of last year getting my team leads. This is going to be fun. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Here we go. 30 grand on leads. Okay. How many leads the last six months do you think my team closed from that $30,000 of the internet? From internet leads. Take a guess. There's a lot of people in here. How many leads did my team convert after I spent $30,000 on internet leads for the local area? I won't talk about our investors because they actually can close that. Let's have a fun game right now. Post your questions or post your answer right here. 143, Mark. <laughs> Grow up. 10, okay, good guess. 10, zero, 1%. <clears throat> Ten percent to eight. All right, <clears throat> we're getting some answers here. Shout out to Hassan and Sergey who said zero. I literally eleven hundred forty-seven. Mark, you're fucking with me. Literally zero. Paul is correct. So many people are correct. I spent thirty thousand dollars on these assholes, and they didn't close any. It's because it's not hard, and most people think that most agents they're just like, I want leads. I want internet leads. Get me internet leads. You don't want leads. You want opportunities. So learn how to rephrase it. And these opportunities cost a lot of money. And if you're not willing to put in the work, it's not worth it. Like I can close them. And here's the frustrating thing is I know I can close them because I've taken the same leads. I've literally taken leads that people have said, Brad, I'll give you an example. This one lady I had an ISA about eight years ago. Oh my God. This one lady said, do not call this lead. She's a bitch and will never sell. That was my ISA's notes. I'm like, fuck this. I'm calling this chick and I'm gonna see if I'm gonna see if she is really a bitch. So she was not nice when I started off. But the truth is, I started asking her questions. So I sat there, I started asking her questions. I said, you know, hey, I know you signed up for a website. You know, tell me a little bit about your housing options, what you're looking to do. Anyways, to make a long story short, she warmed up to me. I got her on the phone and then I actually listed her house and she bought one from me. Now keep in mind. This is from an, this, it's all in how, if you're going to make calls, make sure you're scripted and make sure you know what you're doing. Cause otherwise you're going to fail at it miserably. Don't even bother wasting time. But I, 13 years I've been doing these calls. I should know a little bit about what I'm doing. I literally got a lead that said, this chick is a bitch. She will not buy. I called her to prove a point to the team and she listed her house with me and bought. So it, it is like a unicorn. Like I get they're not all going to be like that for sure. And I realize that. But the truth is, it's what you do with these leads. A lot of agents want these leads. Here's the problem with leads. It's not scalable. Now, here's the thing. It's scalable with time. Now, what Mark and I like to do that's scalable now is like, for example, I'm working on a developer right now. Mark's working on some. I'm working on some. We're a team. But let's just say you're one person. Why we like working with developers is because we get all their act, we get all their stuff. So right now, I'm at the finish line of getting 50, 50 listings in Edmonton in the best real estate market in Western Canada. Okay, I'm going to get 50 listings. Mark and I are working on another one that we got that's probably 300 listings. Like we have 800 listings of di with different developers that we're working on. I would rather go get 800 of these and spend my time doing that because it's scalable. A lot of people and a lot of agents are like, I want leads, I want leads, they get leads. But then, okay, here's the mistake that I made. I thought I had to get more leads to be more successful. So years ago when I was starting to get leads, I was getting like 200 for my team a month and we weren't closing as many as I want. I'm like, I'm gonna spend more money and get a 600. Counterintuitive, they weren't already calling all their leads like they should have been, why go spend more money? So you wanna find people, in my opinion, that can keep sending you more and more business, like developers, like retirement communities, like landlords, like all these people, like divorce lawyers, um, 
probate lawyers, all these people that can just keep going. So imagine if you knew 10 divorce lawyers, okay, just 10, and you contacted 10 divorce lawyers and that was your sphere. Those 10 divorce lawyers, if they referred you one person a quarter, which is only four a year, that's 40 deals a year if you knew 10 divorce lawyers and you schmooze 10. I would rather schmooze 10 divorce lawyers, take them out to games, get them shit-faced, go to strip clubs, whatever the hell these guys want to do. I'd rather do that with 10 people to do 40 deals a year than to pick up the phone for eight hours a day trying to cold call, me personally. So it just depends on what you want your business to be. Uh, lots of zeros. Okay. Questions. I got a question here. Two to 3%. Fair enough. That was more of an answer. What is a good percentage to give for referrals? Jazz, that's a great question. I push my luck sometimes. Actually, I'll tell you. So I think it depends. It's situational. So I had a, I was buying a condo. My, uh, myself and my parents were buying a condo in Kelowna. We knew what condo we wanted. I knew everything. I didn't need this realtor to do anything. Kelowna's in BC uh, and I live in Alberta, so I can't write there. I called a realtor, a fellow EXP realtor, and I said, hey, look, I know which condo I'm going to buy, but I need somebody to buy it for me. I'm going to give you 25% just to write the offer, but I want 75%. And the guy's like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. So anyways, I ended up keeping 75% of the commission, but... There's other times if you have a listing, like truthfully, if somebody called me today and said, I have a listing for you in Calgary. And if for those of you that have a listing in Calgary, I'm going to shoot myself in the foot here. If you ever have a listing for Calgary, if you're part of my free coaching, you're still giving me, I'm still only giving you 25%. But hypothetically speaking, all kidding aside, if somebody called me with a listing, not a buyer with a listing and said, I want a 50% referral, I would take it in a heartbeat because I know that that house is sold in an hour. So I don't think there is a right answer to that, uh, Jazz, but I think it's just depends on what you're looking to do. But if it's a listing, I would definitely ask for more than 25% because you know it's an instant paycheck in most cases. Uh, we didn't, I don't even think we answered any of your questions, Shane. Do you wanna throw <laughs> one in? That's okay. I'm, well, I remember I have a hard stop here and we're yeah. at 10 to, um, but I'm going to, so I'm going to pop off, but here are a couple, uh, um, a couple things. And I think there's a, there's a couple of other questions that came up in the chat here. Um, talk about, um, tasks that you delegate to your admins and when yeah, it's a good time to pick up or to get an admin. So um, I just asked that. Yeah. So that was one of the questions. Um, also, um, skip that, skip that. Um, for agents that are doing 30 to 50 deals a year, or they've gotten to that point where, you know, they're, they're, they're good. They're comfortable. You know, they understand the business. They know how to get new business. They're working their, their sphere. They're getting referrals and so on. But now they're wanting to level up to the next level. This is a question that we get a lot. What is it that you do in order? What is it that you can do in order to level up your business, um, to, uh, to the next level so you can get the 50 to hundred to 200, 300, 1200 deals a year. So if you're doing 30 to 50 and you don't have an admin, the very first thing you do is hire an admin because it gives you back 40 hours a week, right? I hate paperwork. For those of you that don't know this about me, I've been in real estate 13 years, probably sold a couple billion dollars worth of real estate. I have never input a listing. I don't know how. If you held a gun to my head and said input a listing, I wouldn't be able to. So I've always been able to have help to do that. So if you're at that 30 to 50 deals a year, it might seem scary to take that plunge and get an admin, but that's the number one thing you want to do is get an assistant or an admin. If you have an assistant or admin and you're doing about 30 to 50 deals and you want to grow, get a buyer's agent, uh, get another agent to help you out. You might take 50%, but then if you're going to go and you, maybe you give them 10 or 15 of your deals, let's say you're doing 50, I'm just making this up. Let's say you're doing 50 deals. You bring on and you bring out a buyer's agent at 50 deals. Then what you're doing is you start passing off to them. Let's say you give them 15 of your deals. How much more time does that go? So that's gonna probably bring you up to be able to get you to 70 or 80 deals. So I give away my buyers and I keep my listings because they're basically gold. So I think it's a really big thing to do is make sure you have an admin if you're doing 30 to 50 is your first, then you have a buyer's agent because you can leverage. What you're trying to do to scale is get more time back. That's basically what it is at the end of the day is you only have a certain amount of time during the week you can work. So if you can pass off tasks, maybe you make half, 
but then you can go get tasks that allow you to do full. For example, this year I've done very little resale. I've sent it all to some people on the team. And the reason why is because I'm trying to go get these developers with Mark. If I'm sitting there and so focused on giving up 50%, which sucks because like there's a million dollar buyer, that's $20,000. It's very easy for me to be like, oh, I'm going to take on this buyer because it's 20 grand and I, I could use the 20 grand. Where the truth is, is that it stops me from doing, trying to get these developers, which we're in hyper mode for like these 50 listings that I'm getting us in Edmonton, knock on wood, hopefully this comes through. I did the math. That's probably about $775,000 that I get, but it takes up a lot of my time. I'm talking to him almost every day, trying to negotiate it, going up to Edmonton. We keep reviewing it. So it takes up time, which is fine. But if I was so focused on that 10 grand, it take my eyes off this $800,000 that I'd be able to bring the team. So that's, that's a big part of it is make sure you delegate your low income tasks to other people. Here's the messed up part about life is that if you come in and you, or you're like, what do you hate about real estate? Trust me, there's a lot. I probably have a binder full of it, but there's actually somebody who likes doing it on the other end. So write down the tasks that you don't want to do. Believe it or not, there is somebody out there on the planet that loves to do what you hate to do. So if I were to write like my top things about real estate, input listings, uh, paperwork, like all these things that I don't like ordering signs, measures, photography, I hate all that shit. But my assistant, I don't know if she loves it, but at least she does it. But there's somebody that's tolerating it or will do it for you on the other side. So if you want to get more time back, write down the time vampire things that you do. And what I mean by the time vampire things are literally things that you come in that you don't want to do anymore that you hate. Whenever you're like, fuck, I got to input another listing. Find somebody to do it. Oh my God, I can't believe I got to do this paperwork. Find somebody to do it. So all these all these things is huge. <clears throat> uh, can we do a session on how to approach builders and what you need to bring in order to get them work with you? When was the last time we did a pre-con with Mark? We could probably do one in two weeks, eh? It was recent. I think it's been two months already or three. I don't remember. <laughs> I thought it was recent enough, but maybe not. I don't, yeah. I don't think so. Mark, when was the last time you were on here? Uh, so what do you love doing in real estate? What's your favorite? Hey, thing? Brad, sorry to cut you off. I got to run yeah, here. Go. I've got I've got a 12 o'clock that I have yeah, to we'll see you later, buddy. jump Thanks on. But uh, hey, it was good to be here. Nice to see everybody. Good to see you, Brad. We'll, uh, we'll talk soon. Okay. We get a lot of people that are asking for pre-construction. So we might, uh, we might do that one again because we have a lot of new people. I'm just talking to myself, Shane, so you can go. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you later. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. So I, I think that it's, um, it, yeah, it's been at least a month. I don't even know if you've done it this year, Mark. We'll check because we can check when we did it. So Kristen, Kristen's on here. She sent me a private group. She's part of our, uh, she's part of our team in Calgary. And she said, I just posted on Facebook marketplace using the tired of renting as our, as part of our coaching, which is one of our coaching things she did. I did this 20 minutes ago and I already have a lead. Like she literally has a lead from what we did and it's all free. She literally has a lead right now that she's going off and doing. So, um, I have about 10 minutes left. Uh, well, I love these Q and A's. There's still a lot of you on here. Feel free to answer, but I'm going to kind of go into, um, a little bit about what we do now. Um, for, for people that want to partner up with us. Give me one second here. I'm going to make this quick today. Uh, the reason why I'm going to make this quick is because my lovely wife is bearing, um, she's putting up with me right now. And I know she wants to go to Disney because she's going crazy. Right, woman? Love you. She loves me though. She just said that. Do you hear that? That's recorded. That's recorded. She said she loved me. Um, February 1st was last pre-con. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate that. Uh, it's joining your team. Jazz, you put this. Do you have a pen, Jazz? If you can find one for me, that'd be fantastic. Um, do you, Gary, do you recommend joining a team? Uh, yeah, if you want to, of course. Like, I think that we'll see you later, Rakesh. Hope you're well. I'll talk to you very soon. Probably next week, I think it is. Or I, I think I have next week to follow up with you. Um, so if you come in here, it is joining your team only for agents that are full-time, no jazz. You don't have to be full-time. Everybody's kind of on their own journey of what they want to do and uh, what they want to be. So I, I think that that's a big part of it is if you don't, if you, you don't have to be full-time, you know, Hassan, who's on our team, who now is doing 60 deals a year, he came in and he wasn't full-time. He was actually working full-time at Amazon 
And then he was selling a shit ton of houses, learning what we were doing. Uh, and then he just literally left, uh, literally left. So I'm going to talk a little bit about our coaching today. Not a lot. Uh, some of you have already seen it, but some of our free stuff that we have. Um, yeah, Jazz, no, you don't have to. So for some of you on here, basically, you know, I ask people this. There's a lot of people joining the team and we have recently left and uh, we've gone to we've gone to EXP and why we left EXP so I could offer a free coaching program for everybody that joins us at EXP. Now we have some fantastic agents that are doing some incredible things here that are selling hundreds of homes. Uh, it's just whatever you want to do. So what I want everybody here for next week to do is think about how many deals you want to do. So uh, there's there's still a shit ton of you on here. So I want, I want just a few, however wants to do it, put how many deals you want to do this year. So your first number, actually, no, let's do it reverse. How many deals did you do last year? Okay. So I want people to post this. How many deals did you do last year is your first one. So like this. So like for me, for example, is I did a hundred last year personally, and then this year I want to do 200. I'm just making that up. So I want some people to post in here is how many deals did you do last year? How many deals did you do you want to do this year? So if you can post some people, how many you did last year, just like this, the first number, then a slash, how many deals do you want to do this year? Uh, Priscilla, I will call you personally myself, actually. So Antonio, put how many you want to do this year? Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. Gary, it's not too late. Come join the team, bud. Uh, I would like to join. What do I? Okay, here we go. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So for those of you that want to talk about my coaching, you do have to join EXP, like I said. But for those of you that want it, that's my direct cell phone number. Um, so I have some people in here. Uh, Raman, great question. Who's the broker of record to ask questions in GTA? What's the response time in case we have questions? So, Raman, the truth is about this is that it's just like any other brokerage, right? So a lot of people ask about EXP and what it looks like in joining us. And especially if you're from the GTA, like we have a shit ton of pre-con for the people that are in the GTA. It's an amazing. Uh, Angela, you're in LA. I have people all across the world, Angela. I literally have people in Mexico, Spain, England um all across the united states canada portugal we have people all across the world that, that we help to be honest angela hold on i'm just gonna make some notes here so uh going back so it, the truth is with your um with your broker you can you can get somebody right away like you literally just call somebody like you would anybody else a lot of people think at exp it's like what am i gonna do when i need a broker it's no different it's not like when you need your broker, you book a meeting with them and you sit down face to face with them. Although the cool thing is with EXP, you can go into EXP world and you can uh, actually book book with them. So you can vir do it virtually. You can literally go into EXP world, hit two buttons and be sitting down live with a broker within five minutes. You literally can get a response within five minutes. So for those of you that wanna book a strategy call with the team, to learn about joining with us, any XP, because I know there's a lot of people that hand, they're going to do this. So what I'm going to ask people is like, so Kay wants to, this is what I want to ask you. So there's some people, thank you for putting it in here. You look at Kay, Carly, Hassan, Lori, Assad, Antonio, Angela, Sonia, Maya. So there's a bunch of people that put in here. Okay. So for all the people that put, all the people I just mentioned that put how many deals they did and how many deals they want to do, I want you to tell me what your brokerage is doing to help you do that. So Kay, how is your brokerage going to help you get to 40? Carly, how is your brokerage going to help you get to 45? Hassan, how is your brokerage going to help you get to 65? Lori, how is your brokerage going to help you get to 40? Assad, how are they going to help you get to 30? Antonio, how are they going to help you get to 40? Angela, how are they going to help you get to 30? Sonia, how are they going to help you get to 50? And Maya, how are they going to help you get to 40? I want to, I want your answer on how your brokerage is going to do it. Okay, perfect. So not perfect, but Lori, that's, that's to my point. So I want everybody that put their numbers, please tell me how your brokerage is going to help you accomplish that. Okay. 
while you guys are answering, I'm going to quickly go through this because I only have about five minutes left. I promised my wife we'd leave here in about uh, five minutes. So again, so for our coaching, so for all those people, so Maya, Sonia, Angela, Antonio, Assad, Lori, Hassan, Carly, Kay. I want you guys to literally tell me one sentence or two how your brokerage is going to help you accomplish your goals. And I'll, I'll let you guys keep doing it. Okay, so I'll answer these questions right now, actually. So Lori, Maya, Carly, Sonia, Anu, I think that uh, I think that all these all these questions here that you guys have now. See, this is the thing. It's if so. There you go, Assad. So everybody's everybody's kind of answering right now. They're not doing anything for you. Right, that was perfect. Hopefully you guys are still here. I laughed somehow. I don't know. Can you guys, if you guys are still here, post something. Because somehow my whole thing just accidentally shut down. So if you guys are still here, uh, post something because I had to re-log back in. It still says there's a bunch of you on here, but somebody just post anything they hear. Okay, thank God. I was like, oh my God. Sorry, I, had to, I don't know what happened there. It just cut off. Um. Okay, perfect. So I see everybody's still here. Okay, so to answer you guys' questions here is, if I could show you a clear-cut path, a clear-cut path on how to accomplish your goals, would you consider switching brokerages? So I don't have the people that were all here, so I'm going to have to go back and check. But I have like Jazz, a few people, Angela, all the people that said yes, unfortunately, um, what ended up happening was, is I got all, the, all my messages are gone, so I can't see them anymore. So Priscilla says, you know, her brokerage doesn't help at all. If you could get on a 45 minute call with me, 45 minute call, me personally, and you could get a clear cut path on how to be successful, would you consider brokerages? So for all the people, and again, I apologize. I don't have all your names because my group chat's all gone. But for all the people that said they want to do it, if you're, you, every single one of you said your brokerage is doing nothing for you, absolutely nothing. Okay. If you could get on for 45 minutes and me personally, Hopped on a call with you for 45 minutes and I could show you a clear cut path. Would you consider switching brokerages? All things being equal. So here's what I'm going to ask you guys to do. I'm on holidays, but I am going to get back to everybody individually. That's my direct cell phone. I don't always post it in here um, because I just get inundated with people. So Kay, Carly, Priscilla, Maya, Sonia, Lori, all the people that are there, this is my cell phone number. Direct to me, nobody else. It's not like it's my assistant or anything. I want you guys to text me right now if you're serious about changing your life and changing your business. Can you guys see the number? It should be there. I'm putting it in here. This is my direct cell, 403-888-7653. Okay, it should be right on top of there. So Angela, if you want to join, come and talk to me. So now this is my direct cell phone. This is for anybody that wants literally a clear cut path to hit their goals. I will spend 45 minutes with you. Now, do not get on this call if you're not open to change, coming to EXP. I'm just being honest because it's only for people that are willing to change brokerages. However, all of you just said your brokerage is doing nothing for you to help you. So at least have an open mind. Come and look at what we have to say. I will literally help you, and that's what I do. So I know a bunch of you are texting me right now. So for those of you that are serious, okay, so Kate, phone number is 403. Why can't you see? That's weird. My number's in there. I put it in there three times. Okay, I'm getting texts from people, so it should be there. So it's 403-888-7653. There you go, Lori posted in there, thank you. So here's a cool thing too. Okay, it's on perfect. Here's a cool thing. You get all the stuff, I don't have time to go over it, normally I do, but again, I have to cut it a little bit short because uh, I'm, we're going to, I'm at Disneyland right now, so I gotta go. But 
think about this. For those of you that don't want to do this, ask if your brokerage is doing this because we have EXP. Now, keep in mind, this isn't EXP stuff. This is something that myself and my team has created. These people are here to help you every single day. Imagine having these coaches. You have myself who does Q&A and a bunch of other stuff. All those people here that want to learn how to do pre-construction and how, we, how I'm going to make $800,000 with my business partner for selling out 50 units. If you'd like to learn how to do that, guess what? You have our cell phone numbers. You can access us anytime. Does your brokerage do that for you? If you want to get listings from landlords, if you want to do lead gen and marketing, Levi, here, these are all our coaches, by the way. So for those of you that are new on here, these are all our coaches, okay? All our coaches you get access to for free. You don't have to pay anything. Most of your brokerage is shit and they're not doing anything for you. We're here for you every single freaking day to help you get there. YouTube domination. This course is $4,000 alone. Four grand. You get it for free. He made a million dollars from YouTube last year as a brand new agent his first year. A million bucks. Imagine being able to access that. Christian sits here. Joel, nice of you to show up, bud. Joel and I have a man crush on each other. Actually, our group chat's a little bit offside, but we won't dive into that right now. Joel is one of our top agents. Uh, Joel that just commented, he's done. Um, uh, Priscilla, I don't have your number. So I'll give you the number again for everybody. I'm getting taxed, so I know it's working. Uh, okay, 949-413-1168. Uh, okay. So there you go. So it's on there. Okay. So Joel is one of our top guys. Joel is the guy that we were talking about that's done over 60 deals. He's done 60 deals in 10 months. Actually, hold on. We're going to do this very, very quickly. This is him here. Hey, it's Joel Johnson here. I just wanted to um, touch on double your income coaching and my experience so far since I joined the coaching program. Um, I got my license back in April 2021 moved to a brand new city um, to be surrounded by Brad Underwall and Mark Verzal here. And, uh, you know, just touch on my experience, it's been absolutely amazing so far. I didn't know, know anybody when I moved here. Um, I interviewed multiple different brokerages, multiple different teams. And ultimately this was the absolute best fit for me. Um, you know, 10 months into real estate now, I've done over 60 deals, um, helped multiple different people from all over Canada buy properties here in Calgary, Alberta and generated uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in commission, which is which has been absolutely fantastic. So the systems that Double Your Income Coaching has in place are, are absolutely invaluable. The mentorship, the support, um, I could not have found that anywhere else. Um, it's it's absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm never leaving and I, I'll never go anywhere else. So this is the place to be if you're a newer agent or even if you're an experienced agent, if you wanna blow up your business. Um, you know, my initial goal was to do 20 deals and now I'm already over 60 and haven't even hit a year yet. So. This is the place um, for the training, the support, the mentorship, the guidance, whatever you need, Double Your, Inco Double Your Income Coaching has it. And uh, I'm, I'm very grateful that I found them, so. Hey everyone, this is Hassan Bukhari with Brad Vanderbilt's team at Double Your Income Coaching. I started my career in real estate along with Joel Johnson and Renee. We started the exact same time about 10 months ago. We've all done over 50 plus deals now in our first year and it's it's been amazing. Uh, I can't reiterate enough how much Brad Vanderbilt and the Double Your Income Coaching program has provided a world of support for us. If I could go back and do it all over again, I wouldn't change a thing. And for anybody on the fence about whether you should join EXP or the coaching program, uh, EXP is global, so is our coaching program. So you can't make a better decision than this. The time is now, act fast, let's get it done. See you on the other side. All right, so everybody kind of gets an idea of what that looks like. So I, uh, I do have to run, I appreciate it. I got a bunch of text messages from people. So again, find out how many you want to do, you did last year, find out how many you want to do this year. I'm going to talk about how to basically help people grow their business next year. I can give every single person on this fucking call a clear path on how to make money. You just have to trust me. And I have I can have hundreds of videos of our coaching program and people want to do it. What is your brokerage doing for you right now to help you accomplish your goals? Most brokerages are just going to keep you out of jail. Guess what? Any brokerage can do that. EXP, Remax, Century, it doesn't matter where you're at. Their job is to keep you out of jail. Our job at Double Your Income Coaching is to show you how to make money and live a life that you never thought possible. So if that interests you, please book a call with us. 
I'm going to post that in here one more time. And then I got to bounce because I still have to shower my stank ass and then go there. So that's literally how you book a call with us to find out more. Now, normally I don't do this. Lori, thank you. I will thank my wife, Jessica. Everybody says thank you for allowing me to do this still. She doesn't have a choice. Um, so that's my cell phone. If you're interested in finding and getting help with a clear cut path, if you want to do 20, 30, 40, 100, 1,000 deals, I've already done it. Go learn from somebody else. What was the saying? Mark, if you're still on here, it was um, to learn from your mistakes makes you smart. To learn from somebody else's mistakes make you wise. Why would you want to go and do it all over again and try? Come learn from my fucking mistakes. Learn from the shit that I did wrong. Learn from all of our coaches. Learn from everybody. And the best part is when you join us, it's free. All of it is free. All of it. It's not like it's a bait and switch where all of a sudden you, I, I, you contact me and it's like, oh, I need money. I don't need any money. I don't need anything from you. I need you to join EXP. I need you to come and learn from some of the top people. And I need you to not feel like you're alone on an island and come, come and collaborate with all of us. Imagine this collaboration of having hundreds of agents at the top of their game that you can learn from for free. That's what we're offering, plus all of our coaching. So I do have to go. I have a shit ton of texts right here from everybody. So thank you. I'm going to put my phone number in here one more time. And then I'm bouncing. That's my cell phone number. I appreciate everybody in here. I am in Anaheim. I'm going to go. This is to book a call. There's the direct link. That call necessarily will not get you to me. If you want to talk about me, miss, if you want to talk about me with me, sorry, in particular myself, not somebody from my team. I haven't done this in a while on a coaching call. My direct cell phone that gets you to me. Text me. Do not call me today as I'll be in Disneyland. So fire me a text. 403-888-7653. If you're tired of being alone on an island and tired of your brokerage not offering you anything, come and learn from us. We'll show you how to make a shit ton of money and get more time back. So thanks for everybody for being here. Um, we'll be in touch. That is my direct cell phone. I keep getting calls from everybody, so I know it's working. So thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week. For next week, the people that are on this call, how many deals you did last year? How many deals you want to do next year? And I'm going to give some people a clear-cut a, a, a clear path on how to do it. And then hopefully some more people will join our coaching. So thanks, everybody, for being here. I'm going to go hug Mickey Mouse. That's about it. Peace.